He's talked yeah. to every outlet under the sun, but he said on the final stop before the release of the reimagined Roadhouse, the critically acclaimed reimagined Roadhouse, the theatrical debut, the much anticipated theatrical debut of one Conor McGregor. He stops by, you know yourself. He had to stop by on his favorite program. It's great to see you, Conor. How are you? Great to be great to chat. As always, Ariel, yeah. Flat to the map, my man. Flat to the map. You know, so, I got such a great team around me. Aldi, my lady, Karen, my guy, John, John G. I've got a phenomenal team of people that are helping me and guiding me and supporting me through this. It ain't easy, you know. I'm away from the family. We're all away from our families. And you know, it's it's I'm not it's foreign to us. It's a foreign, it's a foreign environment, foreign setup. You know, it's the first time I've worked with Amazon. They've been tremendous. I have got to say they've been absolutely tremendous with us. And, you know, we've done our best. We feel this is going to be a huge success. And the, the movie's stellar. The movie is truly, truly stellar. I was saying, I, we were in London before we were watching, and I was telling the audience, who were, we, we'd done a, a Q&A before, before it. Sometimes we do a Q&A after. Sometimes we do a Q&A before. This one, we've done it before. And I had said to the audience, you know, for me, the movie is relaxing. It's a real relaxing movie. You sit in and you're really going to sit down and enjoy and relax it. And, you know, that's that might sound strange because it's fight, bar fights and wild action and all. But just the visuals of it, it's an escape. And for me, that's what I'm looking for, Ariel. It's escape. I just need, I'm just trying to escape from, from whatever whatever's going on. Do you get me? It's a, it's a beautiful escape. And I know... There's so many people who are so uh, fond of the original classic, including myself, that Patrick Swayze and, and, and the team done. And we know that they will be very pleased with this one as well. And that, for me, I will be happy. As well as, of course, our UFC uh, space. They will be very, very happy and proud. I made sure. I made sure. You know, and I was there, and we done a great one. So happy day. And so, have you seen it yet, no? I have not seen it, but I will be attending the premiere uh, so with my wife. Time. And I'm looking oh, forward to that. That's lovely. Look, I hope the Mia. Deadly. Yes. That's amazing, uh, my man. Enjoy, enjoy. You're lovely. Can't wait to see you, man. That is that is nice to hear because famously around 10 years ago, you told you told me that she wasn't invited to the... Uh... <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love so, you, brother. How many years are we at this, brother? Five-time MMA world champion. Five times. Don't ever doubt me, my man. Yeah, so I'm excited, brother. Excited to see you. Excited to meet, meet your missus. And excited for you to see the movie and hear your reaction. It's getting rave reviews. Oh my lord, the reviews are incredible. I do, I do feel a bit weird watching that song. It's just it's just a different vibe for me. I've never I've never done it like this. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm watching it in the L A. Uh, in the cinema, and you're just seeing people's reaction and all in live time. It had they had audio. I took audio. My performance took audio off his feet. <laughs> it took him off his feet clean. Yeah. <laughs> I remember <laughs> though, many moons ago, you told me. No kids for me while I'm a fighter. No movies for me while I'm a fighter. Everyone's doing movies. Everyone's having fun. I don't want to do that. Now, of course, four children. Congratulations. Mazel tov to you and D on solid, the fourth. Solid. You know the shape, brother. Yeah. Give me the call. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the okay. Day. We'll get to that in a moment. But why movies now? Why did you decide to do this? Yeah, it is funny. I mean, I, I remember around the Jose Aldo build a bit. And I was, yes. I knew he was away from the kids. And I was trying to, like, put that into him. He's a family man. And now I've got Blade and Kid. I've got four beautiful children, and uh, you know, and then I do the show business. But you know, it just you just have to adapt with it. It you know, it is what it is. I I I, I'm a different man. I'm a new man. You know, and and you know, I feel almost reborn with my children. And then as as far as you know, I don't feel like I, 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 okay okay at that time. I was, you know, I was using it to try and maybe break it through a barrier in Aldo's mentality and his psyche. He was only 28 years of age, Ariel Hawani. 28 years old he was. I asked him, I guarantee he felt 48 at the time. I was making him feel like he had been through the wars. In fairness, he'd been through one or two wars. Not that many, though. He was a, dom he was a dominant, and he is still, I mean, he's, he's one of the best of all time. But he was dominant, and he was never really in. Bar the Mendes fights, he hadn't really taken much damage whatsoever. But I made him feel, you know, I, I I made him feel like he was a hundred years old. So, um, but now you know, now me, I suppose I'm living that right, and you know, I'm away from the family, and at the minute, but not 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 all the time, but you know, um, it just is what it is. You take, I feel grand. I'm you know, if you, I don't, I don't know where, where I was going with this. What, what we were gonna say about the about the movie then? Yeah, now uh, you the decide movie to come do about. It. So the movie came about 
with uh, the movie. Oh, it was just time. No, it wasn't even that it was just time. It was the right time. Mm. I had the injury. I got strong from the lifting. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't cardiovascular. There was no dates. It was only five weeks. It was meant to be only five weeks. But, you know, when I got there and they were liking what they were seeing, the character start growing, le- growing legs and arms. And then it just, you know, it, it, you know, it just grew and the, the part grew. They liked what they got or what they were getting. And I was just doing what I was told. People think I was, I, or, or I just was playing myself. You know, I had, I, I, I was, I was, they were guiding me and I was giving them what they were asking for. For me, even I, I felt like I get them loads of versions and low, you know, if you walk in and like, You've got to be a certain way, or you've got to say certain words. Well, you can say a certain word in many, in many different, you know, um, your feelings. You're feeling a different way. You could be angry or happy or so. You know, so I, 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 I was given the multiple options, and I feel, I feel some of them they could have probably picked better ones. You get me? I get them loads of takes, and I was probably hoping that maybe I could have read the character a different way. But they wanted the character the way they wanted. They're very, very happy with what they got. I get them what they asked, and. Yeah, now I added my little splash. I am who I am. I'm show business, yeah? Well, I can see it. I'm show business. I'm not a celebrity, but I'm show business, yeah? Because, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I had a great time. And I, and I tell you what, it's in the fucking, it's in the, it's in the, it's in movie folklore forever. And that's a very, that's very, uh, that's incredible. You know, it's like the fights you put, it's even different to the fights. It's going to stream. I know I would it deserves it deserve cinema. I think we all know that. I think if you look in the in the in the in the space, it seems to be because obviously the business aspect of I, I don't have Amazon Prime personally. You do you have Amazon Prime? Yes, of course. Well, okay. it's like I think you have to get it when in the US it's it's related to this when you're ordering stuff and whatnot. Yes. Yes. So in in, in Ireland and the UK and from my awareness, it's, you don't. So I don't have a so from from a business standpoint, it's gonna Boost subscriptions majorly, but I think after the fact, so I understand that. So I do understand the business. I would have loved them to be in theaters off the bat. The directors did, the producers did. It was a bit of uproar, but I understand the business. And uh, you know, I feel it will come back to cinema. I think after the after it launches and it will go. I think maybe six months down the line, maybe a year. It's one of those movies you're gonna watch it multiple times. You'll watch it multiple times. People will, will this will be a real cult movie. So I could see them for sure. Going back to the cinema, similar to what Adam Sandler who had done uh, this year with Uncut James, who was one of his yeah. most successful films. He was the most highest paid actor of 2023. And now I'm looking at that one now as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me in on that. He only made 73 million. I made 180 last time, thank you. We'll catch that list as well. Yeah, I'll be on two. I'll be on a few lists now. Yeah. Can I ask you, Connor? You know, I've been talking for the last few months. Um, as we transition to fight stuff, because I know we're we're short on time here. They told me very strict. Go oh, ahead, carry on, bro. The, 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 the premiere is not till later, so you know. Oh, uh, we've a nice three hours. This is fantastic. Oh, nah, yeah. well, this is your life. I'm gonna get the head down. I went for a nice cycle today in uh, around Central Park, beautiful park. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I done some pad walk with, with my pad man. I have Phil, my coach Phil, is here with me today. He's gonna be. He's got a boxing a, club. A, a, Shout a, a out. Boxing club. Yeah, so we well, got some pa- mid walk in Central Park today. You know, we had the Paddy Hat, the Dublin thing. My man Dave Fogarty here got the snaps and the visuals, always magical photographs, you know, and I have a bit of video on that. So a good, a good Irish New York moment. And the I people love it. Were around and enjoying, it, and, you know, we took, took pictures now. So I just want a little rest. Sure. I want, I want to get a little rest just before the premiere. Although I'm saying that every premiere. So I'll quick, I'll get a little rest before I go. I don't know whether it's maybe nervousness or something. Or, or like, you know, I say I should try and sleep. You know the way fighters, sometimes fighters have a little nap before they go the thing. But I just haven't, I have, I'm lying in bed, I put everything off and I just can't, I just, I'm end up getting up then and gone. So I hope to get a little sleep, a little rest in before, before tonight. Well, I've seen you all over I'm the place. Tonight, but I still, it's Paddy's month, yeah? Yeah, and happy St. Patrick's Day. I saw you in Austin. I saw you in London, obviously here in New York. And I've been talking a lot about UFC 300. And I've been saying time and again, the biggest name in the history of the game, the face of the UFC of MMA should have been on UFC 300. And people now have said to me, well, look at the PR tour. He couldn't have been on UFC 300. Is that true? Could you not have been on UFC 300 because of the PR obligations for this film? You know, I, it would have been. We, I would have adjusted it, and I would have, I would have made it work for sure. But I'm happy, and I, you know, how many champions? How many world champions are on UFC 300? How many world, former world champions and current world champions? You know, how many belts? Oh, I'm happy with how 300 went there, and I can't wait to see it. And I think that light heavyweight fight is going to be an interesting one. I think, uh, 
I think Hill and Pereira, I, you know, I'm interested to see Hill and Pereira. And I think it's a great card. I think with all of the circumstances they had, they've done tremendous. I'm happy where, my, where I'm at. Right now, on conversations with me, and I can say dates and whatnot, I'm very happy where, where it is right now, even for myself with the time I have now out to the fight. I have it set. We have it set. Okay, so you're happy with where it's at as far as UFC 300 is concerned. Are you fighting July- June 29th, Connor? This is the big. This is the big question that everyone wants to know. Oh, where did I cut off? Where did I cut off? Where you cut, cut off, off saying that you were happy with the card. Pereira Hill um, is interesting, and then you and then you cut off. We couldn't hear you anymore. So, so I'm very happy where I am now. Mike, the call has been made, and we're to go. So you know, this what does summer, that mean? What does that mean? The call has been this made. This means this summer the Mac is back. So Let's I'm happy. Go. With I'm happy with my time I've got in the lead up to it. I'm happy with where I'm at, and everything just works out in God's name. And I'm ecstatic, my man. I sp- I got I got great I got great news. Uh, the other day, I, I essentially got the news the other day, and I was like, boom, straight. I have an I have a full scale octagon in my house in me in my garden, my front garden, straight away. So I'm kind of as well like a NASCAR. His name is Lascar. We call I call him Lascar, the NASCAR. Check him out. He's a great, great, great fighter. I'm not, not sure exactly where he's from, but we you know wrestler, freestyle, overhead slams, and all that stuff. But straight away, boom, come to the house, my man. And we had we had a strength, and we had we had we put the dukes up, Paddy's Eve and Paddy's Day, just to get just to get that. You know, we haven't. I'm having a knock here because you know it's, I train all the time. I'm always training, and I you know I do my camps. You saw the camps I had in Dubai with Lock Nine and and the, and the lads yeah. out there. Got some great Kazakhstani wrestlers and all. So I've had, and then I had in Khan as well. And then, you know, nothing happens then, and I don't get a shout, and I just say, right, I'll, I'll just, I'll just I'll catch his later, lads, and then I kind of dip off my own self. So now I have it, and I, I got I got the sparring in, and, you know, onwards we go. And is this I the am. one that we expected? Is this the one that you announced December you know, 31st? This is, look, look, look you, they, they'll announce in the UFC. Sure, sure. And UFC I don't want to usurp and that. I'm ecstatic about it. It's always great business with these. I've met, you know, people want to make, Make a beef with it. It ain't no beef. I look. It's I. It's I'm happy where I'm at. I'm delighted where I'm at, and I'm. Let's go. I'm feeling a great place. Here, 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 and here, baby. <laughs> and I'm happy to see that and hear that. But can I just ask you this, Connor? Because I've seen you do a lot of interviews with a lot of sort of Hollywood media, and you drop little nuggets that I think go over their head because maybe they don't follow fighting as closely as we do. Okay. And I could sense your frustration when you've been talking to a lot of people saying, I'm waiting for the call. Here's my take on it, Connor, and I'd love to get Hello, more. Mr. White. Hello, Mr. White. But Connor, and the Anthony Joshua... Film. Anthony Joshua doesn't wait for the call from Eddie Hearn. Tyson Fury doesn't wait for the call from Frank Warren. Conor McGregor, as you put it, the most underpaid fighter in the history of fighting, shouldn't wait for the call from anyone. The date should be built around you. You know uh, that. I yeah, say- yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fair, it's fair, it's fair enough. I've two fights left in the contract, and we got to do something else, or, or 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 do we? I don't know. I mean, surely, surely, nobody brings the figures I bring. Nobody brings the figures I bring, or ever. I don't, you know. So we, you know, all of the all of these things will, I'm sure, be worked out and ironed out. With my management stable, Paradigm Sports, in our next phase of relations, our our, our next deal, if you get me. So, so I'm, I'm happy. Do they want you to sign a new deal before this this upcoming? There's been no talks about no deals. There's been okay. not, not an iota of a talk. Usually, Lorenzo would have had something tasty on my plate well ago. Lorenzo would have probably fucking re-signed me two fights ago, maybe even. So. They just did, you know. I don't know. No, there's no talks. They don't. Maybe they just don't know as well. It's just, it's just a, you know. They they know. Just, how do you know? Know what? Like, know what to do? No, no. I think they know. I think they know that you're up. My no, I know is, they know I'm up. But I mean, what what way do you approach it? Like, well, how do we do? Because what's gonna set on me? I'm, I'm, I'm a billion. I'm, I'm Mr. B, Ariel. Yeah, I'm Mr. B, Mr. C- couple of Bs, couple of B. So, I, what way do you come at someone like me? To get me, that's gonna keep me through, you know. But I could just, I just ride the wave, man, and then, and then I don't know after that. But, but that's my, that's my catalog, that's my library, that's my life. The UFC is who is what made me and gave me this, and I love the company with all of my being. Really, it's the best, most iconic fighting organization there's ever been. 
and I'm all over it. And I fucking love that. So, and I love every fighter and every card and every show and every one at the backstage. And I'd love to do something. I'd love to carry it on. I hope. Let's see what uh, what transpires. Is there is there a chance you, you know, fight the two fights and then test the the market, or do you not have any interest in doing that? Would you like to lock something up before that? Have the talk. We don't have the talk. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't know, and I don't know whether they know what to come at me with. What can you come at me with? Oh, we don't. Hollywood now is lined up. I oh, actually can play loads of roles. Think of the amount of movies I could do. Amount the amount of unusual crap. You know the way like there's Arnold Schwarzenegger and then there's like Sylvester Stallone and then all all these guys and they've all these great movies made around them. Think about the think about the think about the movies that you could make around me. You know what I mean? That could, that could be written around me. And I don't think they don't know that. I don't think that they're not that this is all not all going on as well. So you know, I don't know what they're going to come out with me. But you know, like I said, Lorenzo probably would have came at me already. I'm probably with on the table. Lorenzo. Can you still see me, Ariel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it no. froze for a second, but we're good. Ariel, yeah. can you see me? Yeah, I can see I'm you. Back. I can see. Okay, sorry. I zoomed out. I zoomed out. Sorry, sorry. No. So, did... so, so, um, go, go. Lorenzo would have come to me. No one's come to me yet. And I'm just happy. Yeah, we've got two fights left. Is the, is the uh, hope the two know, fights in 2024? Because I saw you say June and then September. Yes, yes, yes. And then yes, Dana yes, White yes, was yes, asked yes, about I'm September I'm and he said he's not interested. Look at, look at Anthony Joshua right now. Yeah. With consistency. I've been rings. I was watching rings at, I watch bum, 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 sharper each time. Look at Edge. Parker. What's Parker's force? Joseph name? Parker. Oh, Joseph Parker. Fuck oh, Joe. He's in the, in the Black Forge group. An amazing warrior of a man. Amazing boxer. Look at him. Bum, bum, bum. He, consistency breeds quality. So I'm coming in here years out of the game. I have to be home years out of the game. Now I'm sparring and fighting and I feel good and sharp, but the... Sh you know, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get my in. You know, in league sharpness, and that's gonna have to come through the thing. So you know, I'm, or do we think I had, the weight and all has not been discussed? I know I had the little the little buzz. I haven't discussed the weight. To be honest, I haven't even checked the fucking. We haven't checked. We haven't jumped on a weighing scales since uh, since the fight, the last fight. Since I weighed in on the last fight, I wow. did not touch the scales, not once. So I don't even. I, I, I'll have to go through all that, and then rounds. And maybe I might say to them, look, I'm just doing three rounds. That's for this one. And I want to just wet me beak. Yeah, now I can do because you know, I'm actually I can do three. I'll do three rounds really nicely now. And I rather than rather than like pushing through to get to five, and uh, you know, it's just I feel if I push right now to get to to, to work towards five full fit, fitness rounds, I I, I feel like could I, I that the first three rounds wouldn't be as sharp as I could get them. So I'd rather sharpen. The blade of tree, and go in nice and sharp and fresh. Get the feel, get the fight. Chandler's gonna come for it. Chandler, Chandler's gonna come at me. He's gonna wanna try and engage and come at me. He's gonna have to. And uh, and that's a style. So uh, I just and then that's what you know. Tree, I think tree, tree is a lovely one, you know. And then and then and then the five. I do three and five. I think is what I, what I feel. So okay. that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Anyway, like I said. These are not even. I, this is just my own thoughts to you, and my mom. I haven't spoke this to anyone really yet. I'm just kind of now that 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 I've been given a little more of it. It's a, it's a goal now. So I'm uh, I'm 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 thinking now. Okay, wait. Okay, rounds. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And I don't know. Does that mean uh, what way that would mean? Because there's three rounds. It has to. Does it have to be four? I don't know. I'd be interested to hear what they say on that. I actually could put me first fight the night. Don't care. Don't care about none of that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I really don't care. So. You know, that's kind of just where I'm at with it at the minute. It's it's delightful news, and I think a lot of people will be happy to hear this. But what about just a couple of days ago, your old rival, your old friend, Nate Diaz, going to bat for you publicly? Did you see that tweet about yeah. you? Yeah, Nate yeah, Connor. yeah. How about that? What did yeah, you think uh, when you Nate, saw that? Yeah, Nate's, Nate is great. Oh, yeah, me and You know, when you share, you know, back-to-back -back knocks we had, real, real fights. That's a real fighting man. The, the two brothers are real fighting men. And uh, I, I, you know, I always had the height of respect for the two lads. And okay, I was a fan of the lad. You know what I mean? I was a fan of them. And then I got to share the octagon with him. We had wars, and we we boxed each other around. And uh, 
I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Wish him well. Always. I'll always, you know, I'll always wish to see past opponents and future opponents, potential future opponents again, um, to see them do well, you know? And what a, what, a, what a monumental moment that will be when we get that one done. So I'm excited for it. When I was at the cold water, you could have been a minute. And do cold water on it instantly. It's huge. That's the, that has that to me has the sphere written all over it. Mexican Independence Day. Nate Diaz is a is a American Mexican and a beloved fighter and a real fighter. Now he's hard to deal with with the lads, and I don't know all the ins and outs to be honest. And I know the lads are hard to deal with also. So you know, I think it'd be amazing, and it it would suit me lovely. The date summer, and into September. I I I believe. I believe. Um, I get my two fights in this year. Yeah. Okay. Um. Two two last quick things, if I may, because uh, it's a silly question to ask to someone who's speaking like this and looks like you look right now. But I feel like I have to hear it from you, and the fans have to hear it from you because we always hear, "Ah, it's hard. He's so rich. He doesn't need to do this. The motivation isn't there." I see a very motivated person to fight again. Are you still motivated of course. to continue this career and keep on fighting for many fights to come? It's my life. It's what I love to do. Look at it. I'm doing this forever. I'm going to do this forever. I'll, you know, I'm, I'll, I, you know, I'll be recalibrating my competition. I, so I actually re, 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 relate to it. You know, when Mike Tyson fought Roy Jones Jr., right? He's retired for so, so long. And... um. He was asked in an interview around the Roy Jones Jr. fight, what do you think Customato would say to you, to you Mike, now that you're not retired, now that you're coming back after all these years? And you know what he said? He said, Customato said, would say, what took you so long? Hmm. And that made me fucking, I got goose pimps all over my, goose pimples all over my body. We become, we can become mentally fatigued or, you know, depression and things like that get set in. You know, you hear about it with people and, 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 and post fight and whatnot lately and recent and the last world and, you know, and life and, you know, it's just, I feel like there's more, it's a more like mental fatigue and the body kind of, you just get a little bit more fed up. That doesn't mean go all the way. Look at Aldo now. Great to see Jose back. Really happy to see Jose back. I was actually taken back why that he did retire when he retired. He was in con- Best. He was a con- contester for um, the fucking title. He was in title mm. contention in my, in my from where I was looking. He was very unlucky not to even scoop the title. And, you know, he fought the champions and won. I think oh, I'm happy to see Jose back. And I I wonder, was it a finance? Was it a business play that didn't play out for him? I wonder, was he trying to press for something more or something like this and then walked away and then they just let him. And then they kind of, you know, he went and done his boxing matches and all the rest of it. And, uh, and whatnot, but now he's back. Excited to see him back. Tremendous goer. Always great for the company. And there you go. Let's go. But I'm going to be doing this forever. I'm very, exci- very excited. Very excited now. I have confirmation. Very excited now. I, I've not. I can't act the bollocks now. You know that's the team. You're, you're you're fucking flat out, and I'm doing these camps, but nothing's really there. So it's kind of like the L temptation. My lovely proper twelve Irish whiskey. My lovely Ford Stout. My lovely pension for a bit of madness. And a bit of nice music in my ears and dancing and all the rest of it. And yeah, now now I had to now I had to join up right now. I'm going in there and your man's gonna try and be swinging bombs at me. So you know, that's it's great for me. You know, it's 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 great for me, and I'm excited and I can't wait to get you know trainings. Like I said, I got, got the sparring going straight away. Felt nice sp- train today, and onwards we go. You you said on the red carpet recently, the world doesn't know the real Connor. All mm-hmm. these years, all these interviews, all these documentaries. Is that possible? How could we not know? I feel like we know you pretty. Is that possible? <laughs> I, I, I just don't keep the doors out and getting them excited in the Hollywood game. Okay. I'm only watching. I, I feel, I certainly feel, I'm as real as it gets. You're getting me off the fucking back. Ain't no bullshit with me. Not never. Yeah. Not now, not never. So, you know, but then, yeah, you, you know, there is. I don't know. You, you, you do know me. You definitely know me for sure. You just know me. Yeah, don't even, you don't even have to introduce me. I don't need introduction, yeah? They know. But no, um, I certainly feel that the life I am living and have been living, it's almost so far removed from just, it's almost not reality. It's like it's fucking just gone. Look at even John. My coach John is in the fucking New York Stock Exchange <laughs> yesterday. I said to him, I messaged him yesterday and said the cheek of us, the cheek of us is like saying the audacity of us, the yeah. neck of us. 
the neck of us, John, uh, Ariel. When we were on the phone, we were on the, oh, we done the interview with you all them years ago, had literally no pot to piss in, famous quote, and the blueberries and all. Same with John. That was a big, that was a big moment for us on the, to be on your show that back then. And it was, you know, it began, it almost began. It felt like this, the media whirlwind began at that time. And now here we are. Here I'm here going fucking walking the red carpet with Hollywood A-listers and fucking as the star of the show. John's on the stock exchange, New York Stock Exchange, and we're still tight as much tight as it ever been, and still fucking living the living the dream and enjoying it. And that's what this martial arts journey and life is about. Enjoy the ride, and you know, there you go. It's so, so my life so far where I was going with that. We're so far removed from reality. So far, you know, out of the norm. I feel like I could slot into any role. I really actually feel I could play any role. That, you know, that, and, and I almost watching, when I watched the movie and what way they chose to, you know, portray me as the character and it's certain ways they, they, certain, you know, takes they used, I knew where they were going. It almost made me say, oh, so I would have probably preferred other ones, you get me? And it probably made me say, you know, uh, it probably made me a bit more eager to do another one. I actually felt like, you know what, Chase, I'd love to do another one now because I can do better and I, and, I, and I can also do something, I can do way different. Do you get me? So I was kind of getting excited about that and it's nice to feel a bit of excitement. And then then a couple of days later, boom, top 10 highest paid actors of 2023, Sandler, Margot Robbie and all. And then I was like, start me here, start perking up on that one as well. Ariel Emanuel's on the phone to me, you know, I have a great relationship with Ari. And, uh, you know, we, uh, they, these guys have big things planned and, you know, I'm excited and we're all excited and let's rock on. You know, it's uh, it's wild because uh, tonight you'll have the New York premiere. I remember August of 2013, you're talking about John. You're about to fight Max Holloway in Boston, second UFC fight. They had a premiere for that upcoming season of The I'm Ultimate gonna have a Fighter. Fight if you would, you don't mind, really. It's not, not real when I'm going to have a fight. I'm going to take me here. No, no problem. Uh, they had the premiere of The Ultimate Fighter. You and John sat in the back of the theater just because you wanted something to do on fight week. No one bothered you. You remember that? Just because you wanted to take it all in. Now yeah. here you are about to go to the premiere of your own film some 11 years later, Red Carpet, New York, oh, critically acclaimed. It's a, it's oh, a crazy yeah. story. Oh, I'm fair. I'm fair. We're highly fair. We operate. We operate with good intent. I operate with a with a with a full heart. I give my heart to things, and I operate with good intent at all times. And God shines down on me. There's angels protecting me. I says, oh yeah, I have my demons, yeah, like a soul. But God bless them because the angels that are fighting my corner, and you know what I have back in me, they don't stand a chance. So you know, God bless it, Ariel. God bless it. Can I ask one more? One more quick one. Yeah, one more. Last one. Yeah, one more. Yeah. Did you feel like you were treated unfairly at the end of last year with everything that went down with USADA, the press conference, the UFC had your back. They were very upset. I've never seen Hunter Campbell and Dana White upset like this before. Yeah. Did you and you didn't say much. Did you feel like you were you were you were having your character assassinated by that press release? By by USADA? Yeah. You know, I, I'm the most tested fucking fight. I was the most tested all the time. They're in the house. They're in the house. I'm, they're test I'm the most tested now on this new one too. I'm the most tested now. This they, they, they come to me two times a week, so it's a little intense. But you know, it is what it is. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, it, was, it was all I was. We were fully transparent, and it was just like a was it a rush of blood? They just came out. I don't know. Was there maybe something else behind the scenes? I don't know. It's, I don't see it as anything got to do with me that it didn't get re renewed. Maybe there was just a dip at their option on the table for them. I'm not sure. But you know, it is what it is. I was, I was so. And I'm so happy and so, you know, to, to, you know, so, so honored to see that the lads had me back, mm. to be honest. And I've no will will, but you started a great deal. They've done great things and, you know, they're keeping the sport clean. I'm all about a clean sport. Always about a clean sport. You know, if you're taking substance while com in competition and, sh you know, that's, that's, there's no, there's no, n n there's no coming back from that for me. So, you know, onwards we go. Much love, Connor. Thank you so much for doing this. I don't have man. to. See, see you later, right? Congratulations and good luck with the uh, premiere coming out March 21st on Amazon Prime Video. Thank you so much for the time. Good man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good one, right? God bless. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.